Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will design each and every parts of a spherical Geneva mechanism and we will see how to design, assemble and animate them in SOLIDWORKS. So let's see how to do it in SOLIDWORKS. At first, we are going to design the first part of spherical Geneva mechanism. It is spherical driven wheel. So choose front plane and sketch. Now select center line and I prefer here to draw a horizontal center line and a vertical center line. Select line and draw a horizontal line. Now select center point arc and select this point as a center and create the arc from this point to this point. Now make sure that this point and this point are horizontal okay now choose a smart dimension keep the length 20 millimeter and keep the radius 65 millimeter select offset entities and select these lines okay now close this area and also this okay now from feature choose revolt boss and base select this line as an axis of revolution okay now select color Now choose front plane, go for normal and sketch. Select circle and draw a circle from the midpoint. Keep the diameter 70.2 millimeter. Okay. Now from features, go for extruded cut and cut it up to next reverse direction now see it's going to cut this surface so okay now choose front plane and right plane select reference geometry choose plane now see we want a plane actually at the middle point of these two plane so okay now select this plane, make it normal, plane, make it normal. Now select a straight slot and start from the midpoint. Okay. Now select a smart dimension and keep the length 51 millimeter and radius 10.1 millimeter. Okay. Now from feature select extruded cut and cut it up to next okay now hide this plane <coughs> select this face make it normal and go for a sketch choose convert entities now this circle is converted so from feature we want to extrude it up to 10 millimeter okay again select this face go for this case select circle and draw a circle keep the diameter 20 millimeter okay from feature cut it and cut it to all okay now we want to create the multiple number of this cutout parts so at first so select these two cutout parts and go for linear patterns sorry go for circular patterns 
we want four number of patterns 360 degree and select any circular face now see the preview it's going to create four number of patterns for the both parts now see this is our spherical Geneva driven wheel now we want to create a keyhole here so select this face go for this case and select center line and draw a horizontal center line okay now choose corner rectangle and draw a corner rectangle here select this three line and make them symmetric okay choose smart dimension and keep it four millimeter and keep the distance from the center line 12 millimeter okay now our geometry is totally defined so from feature choose extruded cut and cut it through all okay now select fillet and select this inside edges okay and fillet them up to one millimeter okay now see this is the spherical Geneva driven wheel so save it get the name of this file driven wheel okay now we are going to design the second part drive wheel so choose front plane go for sketch select circle and here draw two circle okay now choose smart dimension and keep the diameter of the outer circle 70 millimeter and the inner circle 20 millimeter okay now from feature choose extruded boss and extruded it up to 10 millimeter okay now define color okay now select this upper face make it normal and go for a sketch now choose convert entities now see the outer circle is converted so offset entities and reverse direction select this converted line and okay now select line and draw a line here now choose stream entities and trim this to half circle and midline also now go for extruded boss and extruded it up to 30 millimeter okay now select this back face go for normal and sketch we want to cut this side so select center line and draw a horizontal center line choose corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here select this line and this circle make them tangent okay choose smart dimension and keep the length 31 millimeter select this point and this circle make them coincident okay from feature choose extruded cut and cut it up to next okay now select top plane make it normal and go for a sketch now choose center line and from the midpoint 
draw a vertical center line and select this edge and make it convert entities so this edge is converted now choose line and draw these lines select these two line and make them parallel again select these two line make them perpendicular okay now choose smart dimension and keep the angular dimension 45 degree okay keep the length 53.8 millimeter okay now go for extruded boss base and extruded it up to vertex select this vertex and in direction 2 also up to vertex okay now go for fillet and from here choose full round fillet and select this face this three phase now see the preview choose ok now select this face make it normal and go for a sketch choose circle at first find out the center point and draw a circle select smart dimension and keep it 15 millimeter ok from feature extrude it extrude it up to 15 millimeter sorry 15 millimeter okay <coughs> now select back face make it normal and go for a sketch select circle and draw a circle here choose a smart dimension and keep the diameter 40 okay select this inner edge circular edge make it convert from feature choose extruded boss and extrude it up to 10 millimeter ok now select this face make it normal and go for a sketch because we want to make a keyhole here so choose center line and draw a horizontal center line select con corner rectangles and <coughs> draw a corner rectangle here select this three line and make them symmetric ok now choose smart dimension and keep it 4 millimeter and from the corner keep the distance 12 millimeter okay now from feature select extruded cut and cut it up to next okay so see this is our drive wheel this is our spherical geneva drive wheel so save it Okay, now we are going to design the third part shaft. So, so choose front plane and go for this case. Now select line and draw some line like this way. And close it. <coughs> okay now define the lines keep it 10 millimeters <coughs> 5 millimeters 10 millimeters sixty millimeters and this should be twenty six millimeter and 
this line will be 12.5 millimeter okay now see our geometry is fully defined so from a sketch go for revolved boss base and select this line as the axis of revolution choose ok now go for color select some dark ok now we want to create a keyhole here so we need to create another reference geometry so choose front plane and go for reference geometry select plane and create a plane 8 millimeter distance from the front plane now ok now select this plane make it normal and go for a sketch now select a straight slot draw it here make sure that this axis point and this point must be vertical now select smart dimension and keep the length 12 radius should be 2 and the distance from the axis point will be 6 millimeter okay now from feature choose extrude cut reverse direction extrude it up to <coughs> next okay now hide this plane select chamfer select this s 1 millimeter and 45 degree ok now our shape is ready so go for save it shape now we are going to design the fourth part bearing so again choose front plane go for this case select circle and draw two circle here go for a smart dimension keep the outer circle 40 and the inner circle 20.02 ok now from feature extrude boss and extrude it up to 20 millimeter ok now we will edit the appearance So from here select metal go for iron and select metal ok now save it bearing ok now we are going to design the last part bush so choose front plane go for this case again select circle <coughs> draw two circle here and keep the dimension of the outer circle 19.8 millimeter and the inner circle should be 15.2 millimeter okay now from feature go for extrude boss base and extrude it up to 15 millimeter okay now select the color keep it yellow okay now save it push so let's start the assembly and animation of spherical Geneva mechanism first choose new select assembly and ok 
so browse bearing here and by default it is fixed so insert components now insert the drive wheel shaft and bush okay now drag them here okay <coughs> rotate it okay now select this face go for mate and choose this face make them concentric select this face and this face make them coincident again select this line and this line they should be in one line and make them coincident okay now select this face and this face make their concentric relation select this face and this face make their coincident relation okay now select this circular face of bush and this circular face of shaft reverse direction make them concentric okay select this face and this face make them coincident okay it will be like this way again insert components browse shaped bearing and driven wheel okay drag them here okay now select this shaped go for mat and select this surface make their concentric relation okay now select this face and this face make their coincident relation okay now select this line and this line they should be in one line so make their coincident relation okay now select this circular face and this circular face make them concentric select this face and this face make them coincident now make some relation from here select top plane and select this face make their parallel relation okay now select this face and this face make their concentric relation this is our temporary relation we will delete it after place them in the perfect position so okay okay make this bearing fix now we will remove the concentric relation between the 
drive shaft and driven shaft now see both of the bearing are fixed now save it now go for motion analysis at first select here motion put it up now go for motion analysis properties 25 frames per second make it high ok now drag it up to whatever you want now select motor select this shaft reverse direction choose the rpm 14 and ok now select contact select this body this body and this driven wheel and reject this friction and make sure that material is selected now ok now calculate it will take some time to calculate it so friends I hope you like this video and so please don't forget to like comment and share and subscribe my channel get more videos about solidworks projects and design so it will take some time we have to wait okay now put it down and play This is the spherical drive mechanism and this is the way how a spherical Geneva mechanism work. So if you want you can save it as a animation, choose file location, edit file name and from here choose width and height ratio 16 is to 9, save from here choose microsoft video 1 reject this keyframe every and ok again it will go for calculate and your animation will be saved in your chosen folder thank you for watching this video